I'm going to quickly go through asset containers as well. Um, I think you'll see that there's a lot of synergy between these two concepts. There's a lot of reuse between them, which is why we're doing them together. Um, but basically, a container is a general purpose entity on Data Hub that represents kind of a physical collection of data assets, as opposed to a logical collection in the domains case. And this physical collection typically will come directly from that third party source, like Snowflake, MySQL, uh, BigQuery. And is, you know, the common ones you think of are databases, schemas, maybe projects in the case of, of uh, BigQuery. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the examples here. And just a quick overview of containers versus domains. Again, containers are going to be those physical collections. They're also going to be immutable once you've ingested them onto Data Hub. So you can't kind of freely add or remove entities from a domain. It's kind of taken as part of that, that asset's entity uh, or identity, rather. Um, the domain that it's part of, or the container that it's part of, rather. And then domains are logical collections curated on Data Hub. So the source of truth is Data Hub. All right, one more quick demo. Let's see. Demo the new containers feature, which will be available in version 0 0.8.25 of Data Hub. So containers are collections of data assets that are ingested from a third party system like Snowflake, Redshift, BigQuery, uh, Postgres, and more. Um, some co common containers you would think about are you know, databases, schemas, projects in BigQuery. Um, currently on Data Hub, we only ingest leaf level nodes. So things like data sets, tables, uh, et cetera. And so the goal of this project is to really bring in those uh, containers as first class citizens on the Data Hub metadata graph. Uh, so what I'm gonna show you is what it would look like to ingest containers from MySQL. And I'm gonna start by just searching MySQL. And if we scroll down a bit, you'll notice that for this Data Hub metadata aspect table that lives in MySQL, there's a new piece of information that appears in the, the preview here. And that is a reference to the kind of container in which this table lives. In this case, metadata aspect table lives in a schema called data hub schema. If you scroll down a bit more, you'll see that the schema is actually appearing in the search results as a separate node in itself. And it actually has a parent container as well. We can also see that it has three entities inside of it. So three tables inside of it, probably. Um, we can go ahead and click into that and you'll notice that uh, what you get is a profile page, very similar to you know, data set pages where you can do things like editing documentation, viewing properties, adding links, tags, terms, and owners, even the new domains concept as well. Um, you can also easily view all of the entities that are inside of this container, in this case, inside of this uh, schema. You can also uh, slide out this filters bar to slice and dice the list um, by some secondary filters, or you can just use a free text search to search down the entities. I think this is very, very handy. Um, especially in the case where you have a large number of entities inside of a container. Um, and what you can do from this page is, is navigate both down to the children, so using this search, but you can also navigate up to the parent. And so if you see at the schema level, we're actually inside of another container, which is called Data Hub DB, which exists in my MySQL instance. So if I click on that, you'll see that this also gets its own page, will appear in the search results as a separate node, et cetera. And so this just makes things a little bit better because you can add that additional context, that additional metadata um, at that parent level. Uh, you can also easily see how data is organized physically in these uh, external systems via Data Hub. So the last thing I'll show is just filtering by container. You'll notice if you scroll down on the left here that there's a, uh, a new container filter. And this allows you to easily search for um, those assets that are inside of a particular container. Of course, you can combine search filters as you normally would um, to, to whittle it down even more. So this is basically the, the first version of the containers feature. All right, back to the slides here. <clears throat> Okay, so availability uh, for the containers feature uh, in 0825 will be uh, support for ingesting containers like schemas and databases uh, and projects from BigQuery as well. 
uh, from all of the SQL sources. So Snowflake, Redshift, BigQuery, Postgres, MySQL, MSQL, et cetera. Um, searching for or filtering by container as demoed, browsing assets inside the container, adding metadata to a container. On the horizon for this feature is kind of based on the feedback we get from the community, uh, support for additional sources and container types. So now that we have that general purpose model, we can actually go through the other connectors that weren't listed and, and try to add them in as necessary as well. But things like Glue, S3, uh, MongoDB is another obvious one we want to get to. Um, Container-based metadata policies. So this is another direct uh, piece of feedback we've received is that folks want to ma manage metadata policies via container as well as domain. And I think, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, let me know if you guys have feedback. I'm really excited to get these out to the community. Uh, 0825 will be released next Friday, um, so a week from today, at which point you should be able to start using these. Uh, that being said, domains is already on head. So quick start will already have the domains feature containers is uh, following shortly behind.